open the computer access door, turn on the computer start switch. While the computer is booting up, the Langelier key switch can be turned on. The enable switch should be in the on position. If it's not, turn it on. In 10 seconds, the LED indicator will light, saying that power is applied. You can open the laser safety shutter. You turn on servo power, controller power, boot into ProLase, into Windows. There is no password on the computer. Controller power and servo power must be turned on before ProLase is open. Open the ProLase plus icon. A warning message will appear telling you the system is about to initialize. Click OK. Now the X, Z, and door motors will drive and find home. I've already loaded a tray of marked parts. You can skip that step. We go to in Prolase, file, open. If we navigate to the desktop, and we go to Tritown test files and load Tritown final. The file's loaded and ready to go. We can verify that things are set up correctly just by turning on the guide laser and verifying that the red dot is pointed in the center of the first marking field. The job is set up to mark the part in three separate marking fields. Each marking field is a 10 by two array of parts. Serial number sequencing starts part one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. The table then indexes to move the next marking field in place, and the sequence starts again. Since these parts are already marked, we're going to let the system run, and we'll just let the red guide laser uh, represent the marking that's actually been done. And for this demo, we have one side cover removed just to give access, visual access to the system. So with this job loaded, we click on the mark control icon, which is the laser splash with the blue bar. We're going to mark a batch of parts. Every time a batch of three marking fields is marked, the part counter will, will index to the number three. So each field counts as a part. If we wanted to mark an entire fixture of parts, we can simply put three in our part count, then select mark. The first thing the system does is prompt you for a beginning serial number. If, if this job was saved after it was last used, the serial number, the starting serial number will be remembered. If it's not, the serial number can be edited. Click on OK. The system's now ready to go. It's waiting for a start signal. The start signal could be the enter key, although I can disable that for Tritown if they'd like. It was intended to be the two cycle start push buttons. They've got to be pressed simultaneously. It doesn't matter if one's pressed first, then the other. Nothing's going to happen until they're both depressed. The door will start to close find its home position, and marking will begin. And you can see the red guide laser cycling over the first part. This sequencing, this marking sequencing, will continue until the parts are all marked. The marking time for each part is approximately 30 seconds. 
It might vary slightly from part to part, depending on the particular serial number. Some characters have more connectors than others. So an entire tray of parts, of 60 parts, is approximately 30 minutes. When marking is done, the door is going to open and the table will return to the home position to be able to load a new fixture.